Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners. And today I'm going to tie a foam cicada. The hook I have on the vise is a number four. This is an Eagle Claw Aberdeen hook. It's actually a cricket hook. It's pretty light wire. I don't want to put a big hurtin' on the trout so the light wire will keep from him from getting keep the trout from getting too big of a hole in their mouth. We're going to put down a base of thread. And we're going to bring that base down to around the bend of the hook. I'm going to make open spirals in the middle. And tighten them back up at the end. Body is going to be chenille, the underbody. So we don't really need a big base on the end here you do because we're going to tie stuff in there. We're going to start out with a piece of, this is 1 8 sheet foam, and this is a light brown or a darker tan. I have it cut more round at that end, and I have it cut at a point on that end. I'm going to just peel back the, the uh, paper just a little bit. This is sticky. So I'm going to tie it in there, and when you want, when you fold it over, you want it to be approximately three eighths or uh, up to a half an inch sticking out forward. Just going to tie this down first. Going to hold it tight right there and secure that foam. The foam will turn around, but it will only turn slightly at the part that's needed. So you can just twist it back in. First thing I'm going to tie in is I have a cactus chenille. This is flat, but I'm going to tie it in. I'm going to fold it over the thread, and I'm going to tie it in. And I'm going to put maybe two wraps inside the fold. And then I'm going to bring my thread to the middle of the hook. And I'm going to take brown medium chenille. And I expose the end a bit so the threads are showing. This makes it easier to know that it is secured. And wrap that right in. I'm going to bring my thread up forward. And I'm going to stop three quarters. Now I'm going to take the chenille, I'm going to wrap backwards, and then I'm going to wrap frontwards. I want the back section to be a little fatter than the front section. So that's why I started in the middle, and I'll get two layers on the back section, and only one towards the front. to tie that off. Cut that off and pull away any loose fuzz right there. Go ahead and give that a few more securing wraps. I'm going to take my cactus chenille and I'm going to twist it and it turns it right into a nice rope. To hold the end, and I'm going to palmer this forward. Make sure you have grip on both pieces. And when we reach the thread, we're going to tie that off. Remove that excess. Tidy up the head. And we want to have a nice red head at the finish, so I'm going to tidy this up pretty good. I'm 
and bring that back right to the chenille once again. Now we're going to remove the tape. I'm going to fold that over. And now for our first wrap, you want to go slow and careful. Don't tug it too hard because you'll break your thread or you'll cut through the foam. Put a couple of wraps in there and then slowly pull it tighter. There you go. Kind of make sure that it's even. Put a few more wraps on there. There we go. Then we're going to take this front and we're going to fold this over like so. You can take a couple of wraps towards the eye. There we go. Right at the eye. And I'm going to bring it quickly back to the first bump. Now for the wing, the first set of wings, I'm going to use orange bucktail. And this will represent the veins in the wings of the cicada. I stack them to the bottom. And I'm going to trim off the very tips because the veins on the cicada are very pronounced. We're going to make the first wing, we want it just to the end of the hook there. I'm going to tie that in right on top. Give it a couple of turns there. Now I'm going to take a regular light elk hair. I have a bunch in my short hair stacker. And we want to make them the same length as the orange. Maybe even a little bit longer. Pull out all the loose ones here. We're going to tie them in right on top of that. And let that spin. Pull it down. Now I'm going to cut off all this material from the front. Trim them all up. I'm going to take the wing and I'm going to divide it and use my bodkin to divide the wing. And we're going to wrap our thread, kind of figure eight it to help it to get divided. Cross wraps, if you will. And lay that, lay that thread down on the top of the wing a little bit. And that will help them to lay back. Now I'm going to take, this is just craft store plastic beads. I'm going to take four of them. And what am I gonna, I'm going to do is crush the two of them in the middle. I'm going to take those, that bead, and I'm going to move this to the front loop, the front uh, bump. And I'm going to tie them in. And you want to get them evened out. 
Just give them a couple of figure eights there. Now I'm going to take these are root beer with orange tip crazy legs. I'm going to tie them in on the side. And I want mostly orange. Bring them down to the side there just a little bit. And we're going to do the same with the opposite. remainder. Now we're going to take the we're going to take the foam and we're going to help use that to help divide the wing. And then we're going to tie that in. And I broke the thread. I have the thread reattached. I'm just going to go ahead and put it back on there. I haven't tied one of these yet without breaking the thread. You can't pull too hard. I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to pull the eyes back right to that collar. And that will keep them on top. give it a whip finish pull that tight I'm going to take my marker once again because I rubbed off some of the It's okay if you get a little bit of marker on the foam. Just make it look like a little bigger of an eye. Make that one a little bit equal to the other. Now I'm going to take some head cement. I'm going to put a little bit on the top, right on that thread. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to put the head cement on the thread on the bottom. Put a little bit of head cement on the plastic bead chain so that the color doesn't come off on you. I'm going to take just a small drop of super glue and I'm going to put it right between those wings to hold that part down. And that will ensure that the wings aren't going to go anywhere, aren't going to come together. And here we have a cicada. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.